In this video, I want to see how we can use you uh, substitution to integrate the following questions that we have. So, uh, when you are given to integrate, sometimes it's uh, a little bit of a challenge to use a power power rule or the standard rule to integrate. So, you can either use uh, integration by parts or integration using uh, partial fractions or you can use uh, U substitutions. So in this video, we are going to use U substitution. So when we call it U substitution, it is just substitution. It's just that we are using the letter U to do our substitution. So we call it U substitution. Normally, you are going to be given maybe a product of functions like that. Okay? Functions like that. So you have to make one of these functions. For instance, here we have to make one U. Then we can substitute. Now, how do you get the crew of what you have to make u? So every time you have to use u substitution, you look at something like this. Something that looks like this, you make it u, something on power e, uh, square root, or this one, or that one. You can make these u's, then you can do your u substitution. Okay, so in our a, we are going to make this u. There you make this u. Here we are going to make e to the power something. This power becomes u. Then inside here we can make this be u. Okay, so let's do our calculations. So in the first part here, I have to make uh, this to the power 3. I'll make it as uh, u. I'm going to make it as u. So I'm going to make this u. So you say let u equal to our u is going to be this one so you say 8x squared minus 9 then from there you have to find du in other words you have to change the variables we have to change instead of x we should have u so that it will be easy for us to use power rule so let me just find du over dx so du then we try to differentiate that one. We are going to get this will be uh, 16x. But because we've differentiated with respect to x, we had dx. Now, in this case, we have to remove this. So what we are going to do is we are going to, to, to make dx a subject of the formula. So you, if you want, you can... You can do that or if you want you can leave it like this so i know this one i can substitute this and that so if i try to put a back here it will be integral of 8 multiplied by this x i know this can be written as a product of 8 and 16 then here we have u to the power 3 then e here we have dx. But when you look at this, we can substitute du. So I have integral. You can have 8. This will be u to the power 3 du. Now we can use standard root to integrate this one. We can use uh, the power rule or the standard form because this looks like something that we are familiar with. We increase the power, then uh, by 1, then divide by the resulting power. But what we have to know is we don't have limits here. So these are indefinite integrals. We don't have boundaries in which we are integrating in. But So after we integrate, we have to put some constant, which we call the arbitrary constant. So this will be 8 multiplied by... We increase the power by 1, which will be 4, then divide by 4, okay, then plus C, the arbitrary constant because we don't have limit here. So now this will simplify, we get 2, so we're going to have 2, U to the power 4, uh, plus C. But we know the value for U, this will be 2, what is our U? It's 8X squared minus 9 to the power 4, uh, plus C. 
so this will be the integration of that one uh, by u substitution so now you have to be to master what you have to make you because it will be a little bit expensive if you make uh, a wrong statement as u it will be very difficult for you to eliminate uh, dx or the other variable so always remember something that looks like this this is what you have to make you that is what you have to make you that is what you have to make you this that or that okay so let's go to to b so our b our b looks like this one so again when you look at that it is straightforward we can easily identify which one you have to make uh, you it is we can easily see that we have to make this one as u so this will be uh, let 3 minus 10 x to the power 3 uh, be u so from there we can find du is equal to minus 30 x squared dx always remember to attach a dx because you are differentiating with respect to x so you attach dx now from here we can make x squared or dx a subject of the formula or we can directly repress because we have dx and x squared so we can just say over 30 over 30 of course minus so this will disappear what we have is du over minus 30 is equal to x squared dx the intention is when we put you here we should eliminate this and that and this is why i'm ending up with this so if i try to put them there i'll have integral this and that are uh, these two things so these will be replaced by this what i'm going to have is uh, three of course that is u the power four and then multiplied by du minus 30 so I can get this, this will be integral of u to the power 4 du. Again, this looks like what we are familiar with. So I can, I can use power rule or the standard rule. I will increase this by 1, then the resulting power is what I divide. Going to have this, then u to the power 5 over 5 uh, then plus the arbitrary uh, constant so if I try to do this if I try to do this I'm going to have something like this if I try to do this I'm going to have uh, this multiplied by that I will have negative 1 over 150 u to the power 5 plus c and this will be the integral okay always remember when you are using uh, u substitution you have to choose something that will be that will make it easy for you to eliminate the other part so that you remain with uh, u and du so that you can use uh, power root to do your integration so we go to we go to c let's go to c again in c you can you can easily see that here this is what you have to make you according to that standard chart i gave you i earlier showed you so we are going to say let u equal to uh, 3x minus x to the power 3. so now this will be we look for du which will be uh, 3 minus 3x squared if i try to to factor out a 3 hour of du is equal to 3 1 minus x squared dx of course always remember to attach dx to that now you can easily see that i have something like this which is this and that so this will be replaced by the do this so that i can replace this by du over 3 then here we have integral i know this one and that one is what i'm having here so of e to the power uh, u 
okay then i will have du over 3 i can let this decide this will be 1 over 3 integral of e to the power you know, du again we can we can see that when i try to integrate this i will have the same thing so i have 1 over 3 e to the power u plus c and this will be our integration of that but always remember u is what you have here so we are going to have 1 over 3 e to the power 3x minus x to the power 3 plus c okay always remember u is something that you had to let here so you can depress back then we go to d again in d you're going to look at what you have to make u and from that chart from that chart we can easily see okay we can easily see that i have to make something that will appear there okay something that will look like that or something that will appear like that so i'll make this as u so i'll say let u equal to in 7x so now i can find du is equal to this will be 1 over 7x multiplied by 7 which will be 1 over x so 1 over x again i i have to put dx so you can see 1 over x dx is what we have there this and that and that so we can we can easily press du with 1 over x and that or this with that so now coming to this we are going to have 1 over u du this is to the power 3 so now i can take this one up using the rules of indices this will be u to the power minus 3 du well, now at this point we can use standard integration or power rule we increase the power by 1 this will be minus 2 then divide by the resulting power plus the arbitrary constant so this will be equal to i know the value for you it will be in 7x minus 2 over minus 2 plus c if i want i can rewrite this i can take this down this will be 1 over negative 2 in 7x to the power 2 plus c and that will be the integration of that one by u substitution so thank you very much for watching but always remember when you are you are taught to integrate using u substitution you have to make something that will appear like this something that will appear like this okay that is what you're going to make as you and your work will be simplified Thank you for watching and for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel.